I'm doing a test with a um, LED tester, which is this little device right here, that'll run through all of the different color combinations of the uh, RGB LEDs. And here's a spool of them I have, I'm just testing. And you can see it's cycling through a bunch of the colors and patterns and things like that. But that's, uh, that's what's going on. And, and the way it's hooked up is uh, the tester is connected to the spool. And it comes with the cable already attached. And then that goes to a 5-volt power supply. These are 5-volt RGB LEDs. And you follow the wire over and it goes to a 5-volt heavy-duty power supply and uh, wires are a little messy looking but it's just a test so you can kind of see what's going on here now the tester actually comes with a a remote that you can use to change the patterns and things like that but um, I'll probably try it out later but right now it just works like uh, just plugging it in and it goes through all these tests so that's probably what I'm going to just <coughs> use to test. These are um, WS2812B RGB LED light strips. And I'll show you what happens when you first plug them in. all the various colors and patterns and kind of cool looking psychedelic and this is what one of the strips looks like and the LEDs these are pretty dense on the strip. Some of these strips have the LEDs farther apart, but I wanted to have a real high density. And we'll see if I can plug one in. It's probably going to get way too bright to see it on the camera, but see what happens. I can do it with one hand. test is going through some of the patterns and I just have a strip laying across the counter so you can kind of see what what it looks like that's it well I figured I'd try out the remote just to see if it works the instructions are kind of sparse They give you an information about what the buttons do and some of their Eng Ch Chinese to English translations are a little bit interesting, but uh, um, figured, figured it out pretty easily and it seems to work right off the bat. So here's the, here's the button and basically you just turn it on. And it goes into an auto mode, but if you wanna, if you want to change the patterns, there's a button you can just keep clicking and go through the patterns. I'm just clicking the plus button. If you want to go back to auto, you just push the auto button. And then down below, there's a brightness, so you can change the brightness either up or down and then there's separate colors so if you want all red push the R red button oops there we go if you want all green you push the green button and if you want all blue you push the blue button and then there's a white button here if you want all white and that's pretty much it. Oh, you can change the speed of the of the pattern if you want to. So if you go back to here. And you know, 
gonna slow it down. You can see it's going very slowly now. Or speed it up. Back to auto and shut it off. So it works pretty well and for, I think it was about $10 delivered. Not, uh, not a bad little piece of equipment for testing out my, my uh, several hundred LED strips. Well, not strips. I have uh, five strips of 300 each, so 1,500 um, LEDs. So I want to make a Christmas tree out of them, and I don't want to install them if they don't work. So I figured this is the easiest way to test them.